Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. So you know how even some of the nicest smartphones on the market feel disposable in the sense that you'll inevitably end up feeling pressured to buy the newer, sexier version a few short months later? Well, strap yourselves in here, guys, because it actually seems like with their newest software update, Apple is trying to allow users to squeeze a little bit more life out of yesterday's hottest devices. I mean, of course, you'll need more recent hardware to use all of its features, but iOS 12 will support gadgets as old as the iPhone 5S from 2013, and it may even get a little snappier. Apple is claiming up to 40% faster app launches as tested on an iPhone 6S. But performance improvements tend to be standard fare for mobile OS upgrades, so let's look at some features that are a little more unique. Although the augmented reality or AR space has been largely pretty stagnant, one cool way it's being put to better use in iOS 12 is that your device will be able to measure the dimensions of a real world object simply by pointing the camera at it. So this is a quick way to tell if say you'll be able to avoid paying those gouging level bag fees on your next flight. And while we're talking about the camera, the Photos app is a little more powerful for the shutter bugs out there as you can now edit raw images right from your phone, though you will have to import them from an external device. The app will also introduce a Facebook-esque feature though that will suggest that you share photos with the people who are in them just in case Apple didn't already have enough information about who you hang out with. Then, if you'd like to hand them even more info, Siri has a new feature called Shortcuts that can execute a number of user-defined tasks for you, almost macro style, with a single voice command. At this year's WWDC, Apple showed this off simply by having an employee tell Siri, I'm heading home, which prompted her device to ping her roommate activate appropriate smart home features, and give an estimated time of arrival. But if you don't want Siri or anything else on your phone chirping at you, iOS 12 offers some more robust options to deal with that as well. Do Not Disturb can now auto cancel if it detects that you have left a certain location or if a calendar appointment has ended. So you'll actually start getting messages again once your boss finishes droning on about social media analytics or whatever. And you can change your per app settings directly from the lock screen now too. So if an app keeps bugging you with irrelevant headlines, you can tell it to STFU permanently quicker than ever. Making matters even better, the notifications that you do want also got revamped and we are finally getting Android style grouped notifications that will sort things according to app and thread, which is especially useful you if your inbox is constantly you getting slammed. Of course, constant notifications might be a sign that you're glued to your phone a little too much, so iOS offers activity summaries both for yourself and any offspring that you may have produced, and you can restrict usage time per app, though parents out there, we would uh, ask that you please don't do it for YouTube because I mean, TechWiki is it's an educational channel, right? As for Memoji, well, you can limit those. These are similar to Animoji, but they allow you to look like yourself instead of a lion or a piece of poo or whatever. Though you will need the iPhone X's depth sensor in order to use this particular new feature. Even if you are rocking older hardware though, you can still enjoy the front facing camera a little bit more now that you can FaceTime with 32 people at once. Whoever's talking automatically gets the bigger tile, similar to Skype group calls iOS 12 is also bringing student ID integration to both iPhone and Apple Watch to make it easier to get into your dorm or pay for overpriced textbooks. If you're a student at Alabama, Oklahoma, or Duke, you'll be among the first to get this functionality in the fall, but more schools will be added later on this year. Finally, iOS 12 is trying to secure more than just access to the campus gym. It now offers a secure password generator built in, similar to third-party password managers like LastPass, and can even auto-fill those six-digit security codes that you get over SMS, putting us one step closer to the iPhone no longer even requiring a user to operate it at all. 
Are you interested in computer science? Then check out Brilliant, a problem-solving website that teaches you to think like a computer scientist. Instead of passively listening to lectures, you get to master concepts by solving fun and challenging problems. And Brilliant provides the tools and the framework that you need to tackle those challenges. They break the whole thing up into bite-sized, understandable chunks that will lead you from your current curiosity to mastery. And you'll be in the company of over five and a half million members who share your curiosity and love for math and science. So what are you waiting for? You can support TechWiki and learn more about Brilliant by clicking the link in the video description or going to brilliant.org slash Linus Tech Tips and signing up for free. The first 200 people to go to the link will get 20% off an annual premium subscription. So be sure to click it fast. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, dislike, check out other channels, leave a comment with a video suggestion, and subscribe! If you don't subscribe, then moles will eat your shoes.